hard to warm up if you're kind of digging out yourself for shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls forward. Give yourself some huggers. Yeah. All right, my friends, we're going to get started. All right, knee up. Nice and easy. Start to lift those knees up. Maybe you hug them in. Hug them in. Good. All right, let's start to kick that butt. Pull those arms back. Kick the butt, pull those arms back. Let's get that song. There we go. And let's get some more volume. All right, pull back, kick the butt. Let's go. You go as fast as you'd like. Make sure you got nice, strong arms. Good. No spaghetti arms, right? No spaghetti arms. We're not doing this, right? Nice and strong. Good. Pull. Create that tension that you need today. Kick the butt. Pull and kick. Pull and kick. Good. Changing it into a knee up, pull down in three, two, one. Pull down, knee up. You lift that knee as high as you need to. Good morning, good morning. Just getting started. Warm up. Glad you're here. Five, four, three, two, pull back. Kick the butt one more time. You got it. Four, three, two, pull down, knee up. Yes. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Give yourself some space. You're going to squat it out nice and easy, a little bit wider than hips distance. Take it down, come on up, step it back. One, come on up, squat, other side. Lunge. So a lunge, squat, lunge. Take your time. You can go faster than me if you need to. I mean, very, very intentional. <laughs> Just to, I know my lower back feels good, but I don't want to do anything to hurt it again, right? Right. Be very intentional, keeping that core engaged. Squat, lunge, squat, other side, squat. One more time, each side, squat, and lunge. Good job, squat, hold the squat. One, two, option, third time to jump. One, two, three, jump if you choose. Two, three, jump. Maybe you don't fully jump. Maybe you just come up onto those toes. Two, squat, jump, good. One, two, jump, one, two, Good. Four. Three. Good job. Two more. And one. Good job. Back to those squat. Lunge. Squat. Lunge. Squat. Lunge. Good. You got it. Those legs should be warming up. Yes? Oh, I hope so. Good job. Two more. Last one, both sides. Just make sure you're even. Hold the squat. One, two, three. Squat jumps if you choose. Down, two, jump. Down, two, jump. Down, two, jump. Four more, down, two, jump. Make sure you're sending those hips back. Down, two, jump. Good job, make sure you're hinging at those hips. Two. Up. You only go as low as you can comfortably. If you need to do sit and stand here, you can. One more. And up. Good job. Shake it out. Woo! Good job. Shake it out. Give yourself some huggers. Feel free to sip your water. I'm going to make sure I have my water nearby so I can grab it easy. All right. Grab your band. Circular band. Circular band. You're going to place it around those thighs. Place it around those thighs. Take your time here. Sit down if you need to to put the band on. Sometimes it's a little easier if you're sitting down. All right, get those bands on around the thighs. Now, again, if you don't have a band, you could still do this without it, okay? We are doing walking squats. Two sets of 12 with some pulses in between, okay? All right, so make sure you have enough space to go at least side to side. Again, you can go two or three times if you have a long hallway. We're going for 12, here we go. Just make sure you're even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
four, five, belly in, nice and strong, chest and head up, that's eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now, hold the 12, stay wide, little balls for eight, six, five, four, three, two, again, come on up, shake it out if you need to. Here we go, ready? Step it out, out, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Hold it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. I lied. We're doing three sets here. I lied. Woo! I think I said two, but I meant to say three. <laughs> One more set, shake it out. Now, if you ever want extra credit and you have two bands, maybe you place one around the around the calves too. That's an option if you want to, okay? All right, here we go, ready? Last round, walking squats. Take it back, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, hold here. Six, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. Woo, good job, shake it out. Now, we are coming down to the floor. Coming down to the floor, keep the band on. Keep the band on. Coming down to the floor, coming into clamshells. Clamshells, so from here, you're gonna come down to your side. Now, you can stay on the forearm. Now make sure the elbow's under the shoulder. And don't jump into the shoulder, okay? Stay tall, stay lifted. All right, so feet together, knees together in a bent position. Nice and tall, ready? You're gonna hit the top of that thigh to the ceiling for 12, 11, 10, nine, you got it, come on. Seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, hold it up, little pulse for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Round two, let's go for 12. You take a break if you need to. 10, again, you can do this without a band. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Round three, last time for 12, 11, come on, 10, nine, feel the burn. Come on, Jane Fonda's in the house. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse, last time. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, nice and safely, switch sides. Woohoo! Good morning, good morning. All right, or whatever time of day you're watching the recording, right? All right, so again, forearm on the floor, elbow underneath the shoulder, stay lifted, nice and tall. You can lay down fully if you need to. Knees are bent, feet together. Ready? Here we go, clam shells for 12, 11, 10, nine. You're focusing on the glute here and the outer thigh. Eight, seven, control the down, six, five, four, don't let it just close, don't let that band just close your leg, three, two, hold it up, little pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, round two, here we go, 12, 11, 10, nine, stay out of that shoulder, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, round three, you take that break if you need to, jump right back in, here we go, for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, spine is nice and long, belly is engaged, you're in control the whole time, four, three, Two, hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. I believe that was three rounds. I kind of lost my count. I think we have one more round, do we? I'm not sure. Dang it, I lost my train of thought. If you need that third round, do that third round. I seriously, I totally lost count. I was thinking ahead. 
All right, I'm gonna finish up with six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Just make sure you're even, guys, okay? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Woo, nice and easy. All right. From here, you can, okay, so we're gonna come into uh, outer thigh kicks. On, we're staying on the mat with the dumbbells. So have your dumbbells nearby. I'm gonna switch sides to give that leg a break. You need one dumbbell, medium sized weight. So you have the option to keep the band on the thighs for extra credit. You can also take them down to the calves if you want. Now, I believe the calves will be somewhat a little bit harder, but that's totally up to you. You can also only use the band, but if you have dumbbell, it is dumbbell express, you know. So grab that dumbbell, same position. You're gonna take that dumbbell and place it on top of the thigh. You hold it in place, ready? Here we go, for 12. Control the down, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, little pull. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, if you deem that the band is too much, you can take the band off, absolutely. You choose what you need. You can also do this without weight, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and remove my band for these last two rounds. And remember, if we have any neck issues going on, you can come down and lay all the way on the floor if you need to, okay? All right, I'm gonna stay up here. Here we go. Dumbbell, band, or both, or none. <laughs> you choose. Now, if notice the hip too. We don't wanna be on the bony part of the hip. You wanna be rolled back just slightly, like maybe an inch or two, so you're on the meaty part of the butt, right where the top of the butt starts, okay? So it doesn't hurt the hip. You can also add extra cushion underneath. Here we go, guys, round two for 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven. Squeeze the legs together at the bottom, five, Four, if you have the band on, control that down. Don't let that band do the work. Last one, here we go, hold it up, little pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Round three, here we go, for 12, 11, 10, nine, stay out of that shoulder. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. There I go again. I totally, is that round three? I think that was round three, yes. Gosh, I'm horrible today. I guess I should have had some, uh, some caffeine or some coffee or tea or something. Let's go for one more just to be safe. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, hold it up, little pulse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Woo, doggy. Stay on the same side. Stay on the same side. Adjust. Again, if that shoulder starts to kind of give you an issue, you can be right here too. I'm gonna come down to, the, to this, to where the head is in the hand for some support. That's also an option. Now, take that top leg behind the bottom leg. Let's pull that dumbbell on the inner thigh. You ready? Here we go. Flex the foot, toes towards you. Inner thigh kick. 12, 11, 10, 9. If you have the band on, you probably want to remove it here. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hold it up. Little pulse for 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If you choose to use the band, you actually would place it underneath the standing foot and then wrap this around the other calf. So this is an option if you want it, if you want to add the band instead. Okay, here we go, round two. I'll do one set with the band too, okay? Here we go for 12, round two. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse. Three, two, and one. Round three, I'm gonna remove the band and just do that inner thigh. Remember, we wanna make sure that head and neck are comfortable, okay? Here we go. 
Round three, last round. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse. Seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Good job. So, if you want to get four rounds on that side, you can. My apologies. I don't know why I'm all off. Woo! All right, my friends, switch sides. So my first set on that other side, I did the band. So I'm gonna do the band on this side. Outer kicks first, we're gonna do the top leg. Band can be around the thighs or the calves. Your choice. Nice and strong. Now remember, try not to be on the hip bone, just slightly roll back just a little bit. Jump out on top, nice and tall, fine. Here we go, for 10. Or excuse me, 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Round two. <laughs> now, if you did four rounds on the other side, make sure you do four rounds on the other side. I'm seriously going to have to go back and watch because I do not know. Round two, here we go. For 12, I'm going to come down to my, to my neck here. Here we go. 11, 10. Nine, eight, and you only kick as high as you feel comfortable. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up, little pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Round three for 12, 11, 10, you got it. Eight, seven, six, Unless you did four rounds on the other side, then do another set. Take that top leg behind the bottom leg. Dump out on the inner thigh. Inner thigh kicks for 12. You might not kick as high with the inner thigh, and that's totally normal. It's okay. 10, 9, 8. Think about that inner thigh hitting the ceiling. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hold it up. Little pulse for 8. 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, option, remember, with the inner thigh, we can have it around the foot of the anchored foot and around that calf on the leg that's going up and down. If you want to add, I'm going to do one set with, reset if you need to. Here we go, ready? 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Flex that foot, toes towards you. Three, two, hold it up, little pulse. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Last round, here we go. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it up, little pulse. Six, five, three, two, and one. Woo, dog it. Beautiful job. Set that dumbbell down. Come to your back side. Come to your back side. All right. While we're down here, we're going to go ahead and do some core. Feel free to sip your water if you want to. All right. Woo. Lay it on down. Make sure you have plenty of room for your legs out long, okay? Coming into a single leg drop and a double leg drop. Now, you know I have lower back issues going on right now. Oh, I need to move my mic. Hold on one sec. All right. Now, you can add those hands underneath the glutes. Let me get my head set. Set. There we go. So, head on the floor, protecting that spine, keeping that neck nice and long. Option to take those hands just underneath those divots in the lower back, right at the top of the butt. Now, let's actually bring those legs up to the ceiling first to start. So, get comfortable here. Now, if you're able to do this without the hands underneath, by all means you can, okay? Nice and strong, long spine, belly in and up. One leg at a time. Down and up. Good, down and up. Down and up. Good job, down. That's four. Option to 
come up into that C curve only if you want to. You can absolutely keep the head down here if you'd like. Keep that belly in. Good job. Nice long legs. Make sure to keep those legs nice and long, okay? You got this. Keep going. Nice, slow, and controlled. So what we don't want is we don't want to use momentum. We want to use the belly. We want to use that core. So lower and lift. So if we go too fast, we'll start to use momentum and we won't use the core like we want to. Good job. You got this. Give me four more. Four. Three. Two. And one, keep those feet up. You're gonna bend at the knees. Scoop the legs out together and then lift. Bend, scoop, and lift. Bend, scoop, and lift. You take those legs as low as you can comfortably. Bend, scoop, and lift. Bend, scoop, and lift. Make sure that belly is pulled in. Don't push the belly out. Good. Four more. Just like this. Three. Two. And one. Now, option to make that double leg stretch. It's a Pilates move. You can inhale down and exhale up both legs together. However, if that seems to be too much for you today, stick with the scoop or stick with the single leg. Here we go. Let's do all of that one more time. Ready? Single leg. Down and up. Down and up. Just know which side you started on. I'm going to time us to 30 seconds. You're already in it. 10 seconds. You can have the feet flexed or toes pointed. That's your call, whichever feels best to you. You can also have that head up if you choose. As long as that belly is pulled in, five, four, three, two, and one. Scoop. Bend. Extend. Lift. Bend. Extend. Lift. Bend. Extend. Lift. Again, you only take those legs out as far as you can comfortably. Bend. Extend. Lift. Bend. Extend. Lift. Three, two, one. Double leg drop. Down and up. Belly in. Again, you only go as low as you feel comfortable. you did. 
I'm sure, hopefully you guys counted to yourself. I'll make a note when I post this. Make sure you count to yourself, because <laughs> Berta doesn't know how to count. Good job, guys. Releasing those feet down to the mat. Let's do our figure four stretch while we're here. So feet are on the mat. Let's take one leg up, cross it on top of the opposite thigh, and then bring that thigh up towards the chest. Figure four stretch. Nice and easy. Feel free to rock side to side. Option to take that leg up straight if you'd like. The one that you're holding with that. You can add some ankle rotations. That feels good. Both directions. Point and flex. <sighs> one more deep breath. Gently release. Come on down. Uncross those feet and we'll do the other side. Take the opposite leg up. Cross it over. And then reach through that hole to bring that thigh towards the chest. <clears throat> Gently. You can sway just a little bit side to side. Find where you feel that stretch the best. And then you can also take that leg up straight to the ceiling if you'd like. Give yourself some ankle rotations. Point and flex. Good. And gently release it down. Beautiful job. Uncross. Maybe a couple more of those hammock sways before we get up. Beautiful job. So nice and safely, you can roll up to a seated position. Or you can, however you can get up safely. Okay? Nice and gently. Woo! Come on up into a standing position. Beautiful job. All right, coming into a standing side bend. If you need a chair for balance, you can have a chair nearby for balance. I'll bring it over so I can show you. Or just a wall or whatnot. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross that left foot over the right. Now I want you standing nice and tall. Cross that left foot over the right. Inhale, left arm up, and then exhale, reach across. So you're actively pressing that hip to the left as well. Inhale, release. Exhale, bend and reach. Using that chair if you need to. You can practice balance here too if you don't want to hold on to a chair. Good, gently release, then we'll do the other side. So take that right, right foot nice and tall. Cross that right foot over. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, reach on over. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Good, inhale, up. Maybe one more time. Good, gently release. Good job, shake it out. Whew. All right, now we can go into a side lunge. We wanna do a nice little inner thigh opener, right? So option to go nice and wide and just start to sit back into a nice lunge and that leg is nice and long working on that inner thigh. You can go nice and easy side to side. Option to be at the edge of your seat, nice and wide and gently press open the inner thighs. So a couple of options here for that inner thigh stretch. You can twist to the other side. Good, just depending on your hips and what they allow you to do, right? Good. A couple of times, two or three times each side. And then we'll come into that quad stretch. Option to have a chair or a wall or something nearby for balance. Holding on to that foot. Bring that foot towards the booty. Knees somewhat together, pointing down towards the floor, nice and tall, pressing the hips forward. Now if you can't reach your foot, that's okay. You can stay in your seat in a modified lunge. And use a strap as well. You can also use a strap. Good job. Gently release. Other side. Nice deep breaths. Good. Woo! All y'all must be back to work and school. It's quiet this morning. It's quiet. It's Monday morning. Well, I hope you guys, excuse me, I hope you guys watch the replay. Get a good workout. You let me know how you like it. All right, coming into our hamstrings. Split stance, one foot forward, one foot back. Let's have those toes towards the nose. Inhale nice and tall. Exhale, reach for that foot the best you can. Hamstring stretch option to be in the chair. Take that leg out straight and then hinge forward here, reaching for those toes. I'm gonna stay in the chair for this one. Those of you standing, take those toes to the floor. And then one more deep breath and then roll it on up and then we'll switch sides. So standing, you split stance, toes up for the first portion. Inhale, tall. Exhale, hinge forward. Good, you can reach for the toes if you'd like. Nice deep breath. So those of you standing, take those toes to the floor. One more deep breath. 
and then gently roll it on up. Beautiful job. Maybe you tap those feet out and kind of kick the butt a little bit. Whew, shake it out. Give yourself a couple huggers. Uh, one last stretch, my friends, is a calf stretch. Now, if you have a chair or something that you can put the foot up against to kind of get that nice calf stretch, you can do that. Or if you don't right now, you just come into a lunge and gently press that back heel down to get that calf stretch, okay? Either way, especially if we did some jumping in the front, if you in the beginning, if you jumped around a little bit more than I did. Um, what am I doing? Calf stretch, yes, make sure you get both sides. I'm using my chair today, or you can be in that lunge. You can do it a couple of times. Woo, nice deep breaths. Make sure you drink that water, my friends. Get some good food in you. The best time to eat protein is right after a workout.